Alright, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Magic A Plays Better Than Wolves Blind. As you can see, we're in the latest version, Better Than Wolves 4.89 Philip. Uh, last time we were around here, we were uh, inside of the smithy hut, and we uh, pretty fired it in there, added some furniture. And uh, we've been doing a lot of pretty building and lots of hard work going into it, but I figured that today we'd, uh, we'd work on some automation. And uh, so, what I was hoping to do was, currently I'm basically living off of uh, chickens. <laughs> um, their eggs, their food, chickens right now is, uh, that guy's stuck up there, but I don't want him to drop. Oh, there he goes. Um, yeah, chickens are basically my primary source of food right now. Uh, so I figured we'd build an automatic uh, chicken farm. Um, planning to do it over here and uh, earlier in the series I mentioned that I like to make the pretty buildings above ground and underneath the ground I'd like to uh, make the uh, more automated side of things um, and so this time since I'm not too sure how big this machine is going to turn out to be I've kind of marked out the general size that I want the chicken coop to be we're going to go ahead and uh, build the uh, machine first um, so I got some supplies ready. I guess I'll just grab everything and point and hold them back. Um, <clears throat> and uh, the general premise on how this machine works, whoops. Oh, I must have caught the ladder at the very end there. Um, and I'm digging out and I found a little cave. Not too many shinies under there. But uh, the general premise of how this uh, machine works is we're going to have uh, chickens um, it's going to be like a multi-layer machine, so there's going to be chickens up there, which will, uh, who will, I suppose you would say, uh, receive seeds, and then they eat the seeds, and then they poop out eggs, and then the eggs go into a, uh, into a powered hopper, and then in, from the powered hopper they go into a dispenser, and I actually forgot to grab dispensers, but we'll go for those later, um, and then the eggs go into the dispenser, and we're going to have a uh, turntable clock, which uh, pulses once every uh, the longest rotation. Um, and that will allow us to uh, activate the dispensers. So if there's an egg inside there, it's going to shoot it out into the next chamber. Um, and that chamber will kind of just look like this with a hopper in the floor. So it'll shoot it down, and if the egg turns into a, a raw egg, the uh, hopper will absorb it. Otherwise, we'll have a baby chicken in there. And in Better Than Wolves, nice little feature here, uh, baby animals cannot jump. So what'll happen is the chickens will be down there, and then they'll grow up, and once they've grown up enough, well, I suppose there's gonna be like this, um, they'll be able to jump out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a block of concentrated hellfire, and we're gonna light one side on fire. And what's gonna happen is the adult chickens are going to float past the, uh, or through the fire, I suppose. They're gonna light themselves on fire, and uh, hopefully by the time they hit the ground, they're either dead or at least a flame will kill them. Uh, thus basically giving us a, a chicken farm that um, rewards us with uh, cooked chicken. I don't have any chicken in my inventory, but uh, cooked chicken and uh, feathers. So uh, yeah, let's get down to it. Um, as I said, this is a general layout. We're gonna have the door on this side. Um, and then I want the dispenser accessible from the floor here. So I'll walk into this room, and there's going to be the dispenser right here. Um, so, oh, right, I was going to build my redstone on the uh, stone bricks so that I... Anyways, <laughs> sorry, personal thing. Um, trying to build the redstone on stone bricks. So we're going to build this thing top down. Um, I don't have any dispensers. I don't think I have any in the base either, and they require quite a bit of crafting, and I don't think I have any string, so I'm going to need to go through that whole rigmarole. Um, so there's going to be a dispenser here. Uh, we're going to need to figure out a clever way to activate that dispenser too. Um, I suppose, actually, if we just... Oh boy, I didn't think about that. I may need to recess the dispenser in the floor one so that we can get power to it. 
It's like if the if the dispenser is this chest, we have to power it from like they will accept weak power, um, which basically means if uh, I power the block beside it, it will activate. Um, but I'm going to have chickens down there. We can't have the chickens escaping, so it needs to be an enclosed cylinder, or yeah, a cylinder would be a good way to say it. Um, let's think about that. Do I want to actually recess it in the floor one? Um, and we will be uh, building the uh, chicken tube, I guess we can call it, out of glass. Um, I like glass, it's nice and easy to see through. Also, uh, another bonus, when the uh, chickens grow up, we will not have to worry about them suffocating in the walls. Sure, they can get stuck in the walls, I don't really mind that. Um, Ouch, I am more actually concerned with the uh, chickens suffocating, dying, and uh, not producing the cooked chicken drop when they grow up. Um, ooh, such a difficult decision. Is there any way I could power it without... No, not really. Okay, well, it looks like we'll put the dispenser one lower into the floor. Or I could... Uh, Actually, that's an idea. Um, for the floor of the chicken coop, I could use half slabs along the top side here, thus allowing me to put a piece of redstone here and uh, kind of giving it a slightly recessed look into the floor. I like that. Okay. So uh, this chest, mouse got stuck on the keyboard there. This chest will be our make-believe uh, um, dispenser for now. We're going to have to have another one. And then uh, redstone's going to kind of go down because it's going to meet up with the hopper clock. And then uh, what we're going to have down here, so there's a dispenser which will be facing straight downwards. I don't think I need that shovel. Um, let's put these guys, oh no, this glass, and oh, I need to get up here. So, dispenser. Uh, we will be needing to put, since this is a seed dispenser, uh, I think I'll put the web there, and then right there we will have the very first hopper. Now what the web does is it, um, like hoppers, if I uh, throw an item there, oh, gosh darn, I need to build me a working platform. <laughs> um, but the hoppers, they grab items very quickly, and uh, I'm not too sure if, uh, battle between a chicken and a hopper who would win but uh, it's best I don't take any chances and I just go with what I know and uh, if you use a piece of web what happens is uh, the seed will get spat out it'll get caught in the web and slowly float down oh excuse me I, I'm burping um, the seed will slowly slowly fall and uh, once it gets to, I think about the halfway point, it's within the chicken's range to uh, grab it. And uh, so the chickens will grab it, eat, well, one of the chickens, and they're going to have several chickens, uh, will grab it and eat it. And, uh, and then we need not worry because chickens are being fed. And then they, uh, let's see, let's see. I'm, going to build this first and then figure out my uh, mechanical power awesome grab it and then fall okay so then from there uh, I really should have brought more ladders actually let's climb back up it's gonna be a very up and down episode I, I feel <laughs> I'm gonna try and get this built quick before the darkness comes because we are out in the open uh, no real cover around here so break that one and build a little bit lower just like that okay okay so we have this here and we're going to put another dispenser let's grab another cobble here cobble 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 and the dispenser will be right here facing downwards uh, so it will spit uh, spit, shoot, whatever you might want to call it, the um, eggs, because the only thing that's going to be going into this hopper is eggs, because uh, the chickens, that's the only thing they can produce for now. <laughs> is it already being nighttime? Spooky. Um, 
So they will spit the eggs straight down. And um, I think, let's see if the dispenser's there. Uh, we're going to go down just a little bit more. Put this one here. Like me building scaffolding like a pro. Okay, so dispenser's there. Uh, we could just break this one um, and then put these here. And then our piece of concentrated hellfire will go there with. I'll uh, just break that one too. Okay, so uh, space, dispense, or er, the chickens will be sitting right here. So I need my other hopper right in there. So that one will grab the uh, the eggs that the uh, dispenser tosses down. Don't want to lose that axle. I did go ahead and make a whack ton of axles. So uh, that was nice. Now I actually have a bunch that I can work with. Um, so chickens come out, they fall, and we've got to make sure that, uh, like if we're lighting this, uh, oh, I'm gonna need my power to come in from that side over there. Um, also, I have to figure out what I wanna do for power. If I wanna take it from way over there, if I want to put a second water wheel over at the, uh, farm that's completely empty right now. Um, also a nice thing having this right beside the farm is all excess seeds that come from there can be just dropped straight into this uh, contraption. Um, cons yeah, we're gonna put the hellfire block. Is that what this thing's called? Concentrated hellfire? Okay, so then the chickens fall down and this is tube becomes out here get rid of this cobble. I think we're done with it for now, nonetheless. Um, one thing we want to take care of most definitely is uh, the chickens. Come on. Building with glass is a little bit difficult. Uh, we want the chickens to kind of think that they can get across this gap. So they'll say, oh, um, Kind of really low to show this, but uh, the chicken AI. Golly gee, get out of my face, you! Um, just put that there. Jump. Uh, the chickens will think they can get onto that block, and then just kind of walk straight across and be out in the open freedom. But they're gonna fall, 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 fall. Although they don't really fall, they kind of float um, down through the fire, which will light them on fire, of course, and uh, hopefully kill them to a point of being able to be cooked. And we'll put another hopper right there. Man, that was nice. I got some room left. Um, we don't need this glass here. Ah, being so wasteful. <laughs> um, there. So we'll get our eggs and yeah, just our raw eggs from there and our uh, cooked chicken and feathers from there. So that's the general premise. Premise? That's the general idea behind this guy. Uh, let's get back up there, see if I missed anything. Chickens, put that stuff. Oh, right, we gotta do the redstone <laughs> for the uh, secondary dispenser that's sitting right in there. Um, and these guys are all going to be run off a, uh, uh, let's fill you in. I'm not really worried about making this pretty. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. We'll do, how do I want to work this? Should we go into the wall? Oh, I'll just pull this out one. Because I want the, uh, I like it when my redstone looks nice. Like it'll kind of wrap into the, uh, dispenser this way um, and you my friend need to be a solid block and a redstone to top it all off mmm shiny redstone so yeah as you can see our pretend chest here which is going to be make sure no creepers grass kind of tripped me out for a sec um, just remove this 
and this guy won't be here because this is all going to be on the floor. Um, these guys can go as well. Whoops! Didn't really need that to happen, but since this guy, I guess, uh, ooh, a uh, fire. Oh boy, um, what was that? It was a five. Oh, we're gonna need to power that one too. So I think I'm gonna put the uh, hoppers, in, or not hoppers, the gearboxes, just into this wall, so that uh, the fire from that block. Oh wait a minute. Fire can only spread three by three, so that would actually be here. So oh yeah, I'd be perfectly fine with putting the uh, gearboxes just along the edge here. Sweet. Uh, so let's actually just go ahead and set that up. Just to give you guys an idea. Um, Power is probably going to be run upwards. Oh. Chorus of the pups. Let's see. Um, I need to get up here. Oh, good enough. Get that glass out of my hand. There we go. Um, and then that way we know. You're gonna come visit, aren't you? Damn guy. Hey. Yeah, big stupid zombie. Ah, he's in my chicken. <laughs> ah, this is great. Um. Am I here one more? Is it that guy? My mouse, when I'm holding down the uh, shift button, is really unresponsive. Um, and I can kill you, can I? There we go. Um, Alright, so power to these hoppers. You're supposed to be facing straight up one. Oh, look at that. Perfect connection. So I don't even need to really worry about that guy. Well... Actually, we should put uh, just a piece of glass right here on the side because the fire might decide to light up the side of the uh, um, concentrated hellfire block, which would be no good because then we'd have more than one source of fire. <clears throat> I don't know if that actually happens, but uh, just in case, just in case. Um, we are looking chipper now. Uh, food. That's an excellent idea. Thank you, Hotbar. Um, what we're going to want to do is the turntable clock. The hell was that sound? <laughs> I honestly have no clue what that sound was. Uh, we'll just do a nice, simple... Because these guys are always going to be powered, or at least they should always be powered. Um, I need that all to be open. Let's see, these guys can go bye bye. Um, I think if the turntable's here and the torch will be here, no, we need that one higher. So then the turntable. Ugh, no! Yeah, and now I'm stuck down here. <laughs> One step forward, two steps back. <laughs> Turntable goes there. Uh, we're going to want him on the longest, yeah, the longest delay. And we'll dig out that piece right there. That piece right there. Put a shiny old guy there along with our redstone torch. So when this guy's receiving power, he's going to spin round, right, round. Uh, we can just throw one piece of redstone here, and that will power both dispensers and uh, this clock. This is actually very compact. I'm quite happy with how this uh, turned out so far. Um, yeah, so now all we need to do is get mechanical power here, get the dispensers in place, and uh, load this bad boy up with chickens. So I tell you what. I'm going to pause here, um, I'm going to go, I'm going to craft those, dis those dispensers because I know I'm going to need to go find some string. Um, I'll see, actually, I think I can put wool into the uh, uh, millstones? Can I do that? Um, I don't know. Something with wool turning into s string, maybe, somehow, potentially, hopefully. 
um, putting in those dispensers and getting a power source again like I said oh I put this grass block I put that block there so that the grass could spread um, I might put a oh, there's Rosie um, I might put a water wheel right here number one because pretty um, kind of hang it off the wall it's a little bit of a distance though or I could put uh, grab this water here make an underground stream for power so you know I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to uh, channel this water here probably to we'll just keep that all nicely lined up so somewhere around here um, dig myself a hole I suppose I could use a piece of redstone as a marker um, and that's where the water wheel will go so that the power can be directly transmitted to this guy in through sideways also having a water wheel here means uh, we'll have a uh, closer power supply for uh, when we get to automating uh, the uh, larger animals um, so yeah okay I will be right back and we're back okay so um got everything finished down there added in the two dispensers I actually had a stack of string hidden away so it wasn't that difficult um, got that mechanical stuff working like I said I uh, got a water wheel down there water's coming from the farm who um, right there it falls down comes along or I suppose right there uh, comes along down powers the wheel uh, center of the wheels right here power gets directly transferred to our system um, one thing you guys may have noticed that I uh, obviously missed right off the hop was uh, I don't actually need to power this uh, hopper here um, I don't know why I had it in my mind that I needed to have it powered but uh, nice enough anyways I put a chest here so we can get lots of eggs um, I might think about uh, bringing and down and uh, powering this one but uh, for now it's just fine as it is um, again oh, I put all the glass away darn um, let's see if we can light it from the top I got went out made myself a flint and steel I'm not gonna make that jump um, I went out and made myself a flint and steel so that we can uh, light this bad boy up all right there we go click 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 ah there we go all right um so yeah let's uh <laughs> let's see what lights on fire first um really nothing should light on fire uh but uh, hopefully we'll be able to do well so yeah um got mechanical power to everything these uh dispensers are working perfectly i gotta figure out how long that thing takes to tick um and i also got a whack load of pumpkin seeds to fill this guy up and also eggs um this uh, system it's going to take a while to boot i think if i actually just toss the eggs in here i'll be fine and dandy because they'll uh, fall through but uh, here we'll be able to see uh, generally what's well, i guess i can speed this guy up whoops whoops oh darn uh, and up a bit so yeah here we can see what's uh going to happen to the uh, seeds kind of what's actually going to happen is since the uh, the seeds aren't uh, flying entity they're going to just get dropped literally out of the uh, uh, dispenser there and they're going to land in the uh, the web there and slowly float down um, oh I sure hope that the dispenser can spawn chickens Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. Um, so chickens do not take um, actual damage. Oh, this is where it gets funny. <laughs> but uh, chickens won't take actual damage from uh, an egg throwing at them, being thrown at them. It's like snowballs. Um, I don't know if it's actual neg negligible, negligible 
damage. Like, the damage is small enough to not notice. Man, I hope I'm not going to have to go get more eggs. Um, I was hoping to have about 20 or 15 chickens in there. But yeah, so these guys are going to grow up, and, uh, and they'll start doing their thing, pooping out the eggs. I'll feed them all the seeds. And, uh, yeah. Oh, man, this is awesome. I, I'm really excited for this one. Um, and then when and if we get wheat, or uh, if I decide to change a portion of this farm... Well, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Uh, if I decide to change a portion of this farm to uh, uh, hemp, um, it'll most definitely be extremely easy to uh, get the seeds into this dispenser. My little chickens. Getting our things done. Oh, looks like we have a good enough, good amount of chickens in there. Ooh, they're in the hopper. I don't like that. Oh, I suppose also, um, let's go get that glass. I just kind of stuffed it in a chest um, in the uh, plateau over there just because I didn't really feel like cleaning up my after myself right now. Was, I'll fix it later. Um, let's go grab that glass so that we can just add a couple more things. Also, projectile protection and feather falling. Caving really yields well. Uh, you go through there, you're fighting baddies, you're finding dungeons. Oh, speaking of dungeons, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I got a, a whack ton of uh, mossy cobble. Where is it? There it is. Um, it's like a stack and a half right there. Um, it looks like more because I spread it all out. Or, excuse me, two and a half stacks. Um, but yeah, lots of good stuff there. Um, are we almost out of eggs? Oh, we are out of eggs. Okay, so that is the final chicken count. Let's uh, maximize this guy. That looks like a decent amount of chickens. Um, now, see, they're kind of flying out the edges already. Um, I went to get glass so that I could just uh, fill in the corners. I was thinking well, maybe actually three high would do it. May need to run this wire differently um, to because there's a piece of redstone right here exactly on the portion where we don't really want one to be. Uh, it's actually got to be glass there, buddy. One, two, three. Okay. Um, we can put glass here because it won't cut the redstone. Because I'm afraid if like a chicken's right in the corner here and he. Um, he spawns an egg into the world if the egg will land here um, then the hopper won't be able to get it which is absolutely not what we want to happen uh, yeah so those guys will do their thing grab the uh, seeds and then the uh, baby chickens will grow up nice and strong in that chamber there fall out oh I was supposed to don't don't tell me hoppers burn Oh, darn it. Ah, well, that's easy enough fix. I just have to, uh, where is that glass? Just drop this down one and put the hopper on the floor because then it'll be, hopefully, uh, just out of range. Otherwise, I can put the hopper in the floor. Oh, man, look at all these eggs. Um, I'm going to hold off on putting the uh, seeds in there yet just because... Uh, Ah, no. Well, uh... ay yi 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 I'm not getting back up there. Uh, I guess I can. Oh! Yeah, really knackered that jump. Let's try that again. Take two. Here. There. Break that. And we're out. Okay. Uh, let's actually just toss all those pumpkin seeds in there. Uh, we're definitely... Oh, no, no, no! No, no, no. No, no, no. Chickens. Okay, they're still mostly all alive. Ah, oh, stupid creeper. Um, well, it looks like the mechanics um, survived that. So I guess we will uh, end the episode here. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 
Uh, have a wonderful day, evening, night, or whatever it might be due to your geographical location. And uh, ciao.